Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. This evening I want to show you a Monterey 250 CR Cruiser. Um, it's a 2005 boat. It's got a Yanmar uh, 240 horsepower four cylinder diesel engine. Um, the spec on it's really great. The boat's in fantastic condition. It's only run 96 hours, um, so it's has very little use. Um, and it's a, it's a fantastic entry level cruising boat. The exterior of this boat is in, uh, is in very good condition. There, there are only two things I should point out really. One is, it's, it is a black hull, um, and dark hull stripes are notoriously difficult to keep. This one's no exception. It does have some fender rub marks on it, um, but they are only rub marks. They're not deep, they're not through the gel. Um, a good compound and a polish will take those out, and the owner is actually talking about getting that done, so um, that, that should be done before the boat, before the boat sails. Uh, there's no other major, you know, there's no major scratches or dings or anything on the hull. It all looks in really good condition. As I say, the only thing that lets it down a little bit is, are the fender rub marks and, and uh, a compound and, and polish will bring that back and restore the luster to the gel coat. Um, I'm, I'm entirely confident of that. The only other thing is that the forward cleat on the port side has been, uh, is missing from the boat. I'm not too sure what happened, I need to speak to the owner about it, but there's no other sign of damage or stress cracking around the cleat, so it doesn't look like it's been pulled out, but it's just missing. It's one of those pop-up cleats, so um, maybe it's just the, the backing bolts have worked loose and it's fallen off, but um, I'm sure that'll be addressed before the boat sells as well. Apart from that, all the other deck hardware is in extremely good condition, all the other cleats and the handrails, everything's really solid and secure. Across the stern of the boat then, we've a, we've a nice extended swim platform that gives it an extra couple of feet to the length of the boat. Again, it's molded non-skid. Um, it, it's shaped, you know, contoured to, to suit the lines of the boat. Um, and it's also got a folding uh, stainless steel board and ladder there on the starboard side. You'll also notice that we've got stainless steel handrail across the, the transom. We've got a, a central stainless steel uh, ski toe point and we've got a nice big transom locker here. It opens on a, on a gas assist strut and that locker is big enough to swallow up all your fenders and dock lines and all your bits and pieces that you, you tend to gather up. The cleats and things back here are, are nice and chunky um, and they're up on the on the actual transom of the boat as opposed to being on the deck so there's no tripping hazards or nothing to stub your toe on um, as you're getting access to and from the boat. You'll also notice there's a really convenient uh, walk-through transom section in this boat. It's all bolted non-skid. We've got a nice little lock and transom gate on there. Uh, just as you walk through, you'll notice that we've got a, a pull-out hot and cold shower. So you can wash yourself down after a swim. The cockpit layout is, um, is designed to sort of maximize uh, sociable seating. So we've got the twin wide helm seat here. We've also got uh, a port side lounger um, that'll fit two adults or else a, you know a single sun lounging position. Um, and then at the aft the end of the cockpit we've got uh, two bench seats. So across the rear we've got a um, almost a full width bench which will accommodate three adults. And behind the helm seat we've got a four, rear facing bench that'll that'll um, seat another two people. So. It means it's a nice sociable layout. This the helm seat arrangement also slides forward and aft. So depending on whether you're driving the boat, you want the seat back, or if you're at anchor and you're sitting around the table, you can slide it the whole way forward to give you a bit more leg room at the back there. We've also got a nice little wet bar arrangement on the port side as you come into the cockpit, um, with a little sink, um, like a draining ice box under here, um, or whatever you want to use that for. Uh, a cup holder and also we've got storage for the cool box uh, and underneath that, uh, that wet bar. Monterey would have a reputation as being at the premium end of the of the US sports boat market uh, and that you can really tell that from this boat. The upholstery is very nicely done um, with the little inset uh, logos and things uh, and the nice colour coded piping around the, the edges and, and trim on the seats. Um, it goes without saying that in this boat with only 96 hours on the clock, the upholstery is in fantastic condition, as are all the other uh, deck fittings and fixtures. The helm position in this boat is, uh, is really well laid out. Um, we've got, first of all, we've got a, a double wide helm seat here, so two people will sit here no problem, um, with a 
It's got a flip up bolster so I can either sit down and look through the screen or with the bolster up I get a nice view over the top of the screen um, makes it uh, easier for uh, berth in the boat as well. We've got a tilt position uh, steering wheel on the helm so you can get a, it's easier to get a comfortable position um, and the throttle lever falls uh, nice, nice and easily to hand as well. The, the dash layout itself um, is nicely done. We've got a full array of instrumentation with a fuel gauge, a voltmeter, oil pressure, temperature, trim position. We've got a digital depth gauge here and we've got a speedo and a taco with a built-in hour meter currently reading 96.8 hours. Um, everything here on the dash as far as I can tell, all the, all the equipment is fully functioning. The only thing I've noticed that's not working is the, the trim gauge. I'm sure it's some, probably something simple to sort that out. Um, we've got a full range of our, our switch gear here. Um, it's all top quality stuff and it, it all falls nice and easily to hand as well. Um, we've got a, a stereo remote control up here. I've got a fire um, system indicator telling, telling me the status of the, the extinguishing system in the engine bay. We've got trim tab control, so this boat has integrated trim tabs that sit flush into the hull, they're quite a nice uh, design on this boat. Uh, we've got controls for the tabs here. I've got a, a Garmin GPS map 172C um, chart plotter, which is fully operational. Uh, and we've got a Navman VHF 7200 uh, VHF radio. This boat also has, because it's got the Yanmar diesel engine, we've got the little uh, status monitor for the for the engine, which sits down beside the VHF radio. That that will um, come with uh, whenever you key on, brings up the uh, the battery volt, the voltage and the the uh, oil pressure alarms there. Whenever the engine fires up, they go off. We've got the windlass control here as well. This boat's fitted with a, an electric anchor windlass. And we've got the control for that here on the dash too. Uh, and then we've got our, our, our ignition switch and engine stop switch over on the right hand side. So every, the, get, the dash is really well laid out. It's all very easy to use. Um, and it, uh, like the rest of the boat, it just, you know, it's, it's high quality. It looks the part. We've got the wood effect trim on the, on the dash and the wood effect trim on the wheel. The leather rim steering wheel. Um, and uh, it's just all, it's just, just feels, feels like a high quality high quality craft. Moving forward we've got a centrally located um, cabin access door with moulded in steps that gives you access out through the opening centre section of the windscreen and onto the foredeck. The foredeck in this boat is nice and flat and it's got moulded on skid right the way across it. It's got button poppers there for um, a foredeck sun pad cushion which is included with this boat so you can turn the foredeck into a sun pad big enough for two people. Coming down into the cabin then, uh, the access is very good. We've got a nice big uh, wrap around settee arrangement in the forward part of the cabin that converts into uh, to a V-berth, nice big double at night time. We've also got a flat screen TV up in the forward, very far forward peak of the cabin with a 240 volt socket there to run the TV off so whenever you're plugged into shore power you can use that. We've also got the TV aerial controls up there as well for the aerial that's mounted up on the deck. We've got a couple of speakers down here um, for whenever you run the sound system. And we've got a nice big hanging locker that also doubles up as a bit of extra storage and storage for the table leg whenever you don't have the table in position in the cabin here. The galley on the boat is a nice big size. Um, it's well finished with a black Corian effect countertop uh, all the surfaces are nice uh, and easy to keep clean. There is uh, an isotherm fridge mounted underneath the counter. We've got a stainless steel sink uh, with stainless steel taps as well. We've got a, a single burner electric hob here. Um, again that runs just whenever you're on shore power. And we've got a microwave there as well, full size microwave. Also as part of the galley arrangement we've got the controls here for the onboard heating system, that's the Eberspasher heating. Um, we've got an outlet for the heating, one in the cabin and one in the, the cockpit. Uh, and then we've also got a 12 volt DC control panel here for your cabin lights, water pump, stereo, mass reader, all that type of thing. And our 220 volt uh, shore power panel there as well for switching on the power to your individual 
220 volt uh, units. Access into the aft cabin then is just in past the galley um, and it's a nice big double bed in there. We've got really good headroom at the, at the top of the bed with a couple of individual reading lights there. On the right hand side as you come down the uh, into the cabin we've got the full size heads compartment so we've got a, a manual pump out Jabsco toilet we've got uh, a sink and the, a shower so the sink uh, tap doubles up as a shower head there we've also got a nice little vanity mirror a little bit of storage up above the the opening port light and uh, we've got a couple of uh, uh, individual lights in the in the roof there as well Engine access is really good. We just lift the, the hatch that's on a couple of uh, gas assist struts and gives access into the, the Yanmar four cylinder 240 horsepower turbo diesel motor. Um, these engines have a reputation for bulletproof reliability. Uh, this one has only run 96 hours and, uh, and it really shows it. I mean, the, the engine itself is in pristine condition. There's absolutely no signs of any corrosion or or any anything on toward. Hopefully that gives you a good idea um, of the condition that this Monterey 250CR cruiser is in. Um, the boat has a, has a great spec with the, the addition of the camper covers, the heating, flat screen TV, DVD player um, and the onboard uh, manual pump out toilet um, and the extended swim platform. The, the, the whole boat, it's only done, it's 2005, it's only done 96 hours from you, it's CE certified, it's a UK original boat, um, everything about it is just right uh, and it's in, it's in fantastic condition throughout. The engine with, with the Yanmar diesel engine, it's 240 horsepower, it gives the boat great performance, gets up and goes on the plane, no problem, and it runs really well through the water, um, giving it a proper sports boat edge performance wise. Throw into that the fact that it has a, a, a road trailer as well as part of the price uh, and this is a really attractive little package. It's great value um, and this boat will serve our next owners really well. If you want some more information about the boat or you want to arrange to come and have a look at it and get a run out, please don't hesitate to, to get in touch with us. Thank you for watching.